Ahok is facing a five-year prison sentence for comments in which he questioned the use of a verse from the Quran. It deals with non-Muslim leadership over Muslims. His political opponents have used the verse against him. I apologize because this problem caused a national uproar. But do you regret it? I never regretted it. If I would go to the same place again, I would say exactly the same thing, because I have no intention to insult Islam or make blasphemous comments. Talking about Quranic verses, isn't that considered too sensitive in a country where the majority is Muslim? I wrote the same thing in a book in 2008, and the book became a bestseller. Nobody made any trouble. I have often said it in meetings, and nobody complained. This is only because of the governor's elections, because someone took it out of context to spread it everywhere. Hundreds of thousands of Indonesians took to the streets in recent protest against the governor, who is running for re-election in February. Ahok considers the case against him a test of the Indonesian constitution, which considers all religions equal. I'm thankful that history has chosen me to be in this position. Because of Ahok, now people are forced to rethink the basic foundations of our country. The governor is urging police to disband the Islamic Defenders Front, the Muslim organization at the forefront of protests against him. It's known for using violence against religious minorities. If you want to change this country to a sectarian state, I will be on the forefront to fight you. If there are organizations who violate the constitution, they should be reminded. If this is not happening, please ask the Minister of Home Affairs why he's not doing this. Despite the blasphemy case, Ahok hopes he will be re-elected and continue to be supported by President Joko Widodo. Personally, he still supports me, but legally I will have to go through this case. A verdict in the blasphemy case is not expected before April. Stab Fasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.